mailing boss and how to import, export and copy your list. If you want to do any of do any of the any of the subscribers list. And here is going to open all the lists that you have and we're going to click on information. Here on information we have the option here which will be list tools. We're going to click on view and we're going to see that we have the option to import, export and copy. All of them are very simple. We just need to be careful with a couple of things. So I'm going to start with import and we're going to click on view and you can import by a CSV file, a text file or your database. Okay, so it will be SQL. So here in case that you want to import as SQL. CSV, you just gotta click in select file and you gotta read all the rules. Just pay a lot of attention in how you display your contact. So if you have email, name, and any other field, you please separate them by column. So we are gonna have the email column, the name column, and the other column. Okay, well, another thing that is very important is how you name your lists. So if you name your list, your tag on the list, your email tag is as email, you're going to name the email part as email. If you're tagging the name or name, you're going to name as name and therefore you go like that. Another very, very important part is that you got to put them in the order that it shows in your form. So it shows first the email, the name and then the other one, that's how you're going to name it. If you put first the name, email and the other information, that's how you're going to put it as well. When you finish, you just click here, choose file and upload the file and your file is going to be automatically uploaded to your list. Same thing here on the text, just read all the tools, just ask you separate the list in the way that I just said as well and then click on upload file and you can have it already inside your list. Here in your database you're just going to put all your SQL informations and then you're going to click in connect and import. Also very simple. To export your files we are going to click here and you're going to see that you can only do that in CSV. So you're going to click here and the file in your list is going to be automatically exported for you in a CSV document. And to copy, you can also click here and then you're going to copy the contacts for another list to this list of yours. So you just choose the other list that you have. In my case, I don't have any, but you for sure is going to have one. And you can also filter by segment if you prefer. Just click on copy and you're going to have the contacts over here. So when you close, that is all very simple to use and I see you guys in the next tutorial.